Assassin's Creed. It's a cultural icon in the gaming world that was created back in 2007, and we have had many of them set in many places, from Italy to Jerusalem to the Caribbean and the latest in Egypt. Alongside many other people, I was not too impressed with Origins when I first played it, but I think I was wrong. AC Origins is a much better game than I gave it credit for. So why was Origins better than a lot of us initially thought? For some strange and awesome reason, I have been utterly addicted to this game for the past two weeks. I think about it all the time and I guess I'm just under the spell of another AC game. So today I want to highlight the three things I think AC Origins does really good that elevates it into the category of great game that many of us just missed. Story is so important in a role-playing game like Assassin's Creed. The number one issue I have with Origins is the same issue I have with most open world games, the constant, bitter, filler content. Some of it's good, but the majority is pretty passe. I wish all of it was good because you have no choice to partake in side content in AC Origins. AC Origins is built as an RPG this time around, so in order to make the game um, conclusive and make sure you explore all the open world elements, Ubisoft has put in static level requirements for quests. This is to ensure that the game is challenging, long, and that you don't get ahead of where they want you to be. These requirements dictate the level of enemies you face, thus, you cannot rush the game unless you are on par with that level. The dreaded, underleveled, red quest text gets you every single time you complete a main mission. If you approach the game by exploring minimal side content like myself, the basic game structure for AC Origins is this. Start a mission, complete said mission, accept a new main mission directly after, which is two to three levels above you. This creates a mandatory reliance on side activities since you essentially cannot proceed without them. I find the arbitrary level gating so unnecessary because the story missions in AC Origins, and this is my first point, are actually really, really good. The side content doesn't even come close, so the result is inconsistent gameplay experiences. Accepting a side mission and it becomes immediately apparent that this is objectively true by way of two things. Most side missions always begin with this over-the-shoulder, non-cinematic, static, boring cutscene angle. These cutscenes are super hard to swallow because they're so uninteresting in presentation as to make you tempted to skip over them. The lip syncing is another issue, it's completely awful, and I assume the game uses these fixed camera angles because of it. Compare the faces of side mission NPCs to Cleopatra, it's not even in the same galaxy. The second thing that separates them is the quality of the gameplay. Most side missions play out the same. You run to a nearby location and kill an enemy, investigate a murder, find a treasure, or deal with local bad dudes. The distance you travel is not very far, usually, from the NPC who gave you the quest either. Main missions are not like this at all. They have great cinematography, well-done animations, and interesting characters. They send you far across the map, into the desert, across rivers, and into new cities. They can be as epic and engrossing as the world is. The unfortunate part regarding the level scaling RPG mission design in Origins is that there is a degree of inconsistency to that gameplay experience. Origins is about a quest for vengeance, and the narrative has a deep sense of loss and betrayal and violence. Bayek is out for redemption, not just for himself, but those he is fighting for. There is an energy to the conflict, and you can tell the story is just begging you to come along for the ride. But you can't fully get to that place of enjoyment because AC Origins makes you play the waiting game. You'll play through an awesome main mission and then realize you need to do three or four levels of grinding before proceeding to the next one. It's a shock that I experienced with Origins, this feeling of high, 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 and then a crash when then I realized that that next main mission was an hour out of reach. Now, I'm not saying that all of the side content sucks, but it's the quality of the bulk of it that makes leveling onerous. Most of the run and grab content like treasures, papaya scrolls, the Ptolemy statues, etc. are pretty non-intrusive and are completely optional. And a few choice side quests are great, and some of them give insights to Bayek's motivations or the socio-political climate of Egypt, but most of them are and are presented with far less care than the main narrative. It's a little bit of a bummer for me because of how much I enjoyed the main story, and I think this was one of the main reasons why people were wrong about AC Origins is because they couldn't just quite get captured into this main conflict because there were so much side content requirements and many of them weren't that great, yet most of them you had to do to continue the story. 
I wonder how AC Origins would have played out as a linear game, for example. Maybe we'll see it someday. It's no doubt that the world of Origins is stunning. I took it for granted how beautiful this game was, and how well the game makes good on the promise of history the first time I played it. Without going too deep, AC Origins is well represented. The colors are vibrant and lovely, the Nile is both muddy brown and blue as an ocean, the architecture is caked in paintings and murals and hieroglyphics true to the time period. Every city is where it should be, and the people are varied, depicting a wide range of culture in the geographic melting pot that is Egypt. You can truly get lost in Origins more so than I think any other Assassin's Creed game. Egypt is a setting seen rarely in gaming and they took advantage of it. The rolling dunes and the pyramids, the dark tombs and the various wildlife and the detail to the world is just so captivating. I was surprised at how much variety they managed to squeeze into Origins. One of the aces of open world games are obviously those amazing draw distances, and man, Origins has them in spades. You'll often see a fuzzy outline of a pyramid looming just out of reach in the distance, or a giant temple beyond the river. The glaze of the sun drop makes them feel so epic, and because the geography is so large in scale, it makes the game feel that way too. One of the great things Origins manages to integrate that other games struggle with is a sense of topography within that environment. At any point in the game, you might be high up on a pyramid or far below in a tomb. The dunes make you shuffle up and down the sand, the rivers are deep, and there are moments where the terrain is not totally flat, all the time in fact. I love the sensation that a game world isn't trying to just exist on a flat surface and just not feel so gamey. Origins, beyond any other AC game I think, really captures the sense of topography. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the combat. After some more time with it, I think that the new gameplay system is actually really enjoyable. While more involved and challenging than combat of prior games, it still doesn't gel with me 100%, but it's still pretty fun. Combat in Origins is often very messy and rubbery. Bayek doesn't quite have the mobility he needs and it often leads to rather cumbersome engagements. It's a focus of one-on-one, -on -one, which is great, but you're often fighting multiple enemies and that's where the problem comes in. What I do like about it is that it brings in a certain degree of skill that was missing in basically pretty much every past Assassin's Creed game. It also offers player choice, which goes a long way at adding agency to Bayek. No longer are you at the mercy of a patch of grass for cover. If you feel like fighting, the game lets you. If you feel like doing a combination of stealth and fighting as well, the game also lets you do that too. I often found myself mixing up playstyles and incorporating the various bows on offer. With proper skill tree utilization, you can have it all with Origins, Stealth, Melee, and Range Combat all in one. While all three systems are nothing really fancy, together they make for a fun system. In a series that has heavily favored stealth in just about every single game, it's nice to at least have a change of pace and variety and choice to the game. So yeah, that's why I feel like Origins is a much better game than many of us believed it to be initially. It's got a great story, even though some of the side content sucks and is required, it's got a wonderful setting, and a good melange of combat options that add some diversity to the experience of this Assassin's Creed game. I love the direction Ubisoft has taken here with Assassin's Creed Origins. With some continued work and iteration, who knows what's in store for us with the next Assassin's Creed game.